Good morning again. It is December 2nd, 2020. And I feel like I have to make this short video because 2020 has been a year that shook everybody's foundations. It is imperative that we understand that shaking our foundation is the way to perfect vision. People said 2020 was going to be a year of clarity. That's what God wants to do right now. Revival. I'm titling this video Revival with a question mark, an exclamation point, and another question mark. God's taught me through the years that what the next step is is really none of my business. My job is to surrender now. It's his job to show me the next rock. I implore you today and I pray in agreement with you that God is going to move. And he's going to move in a way that he's never moved before because there hasn't ever been a world like this before. Please be a part of this with me. I don't know what's coming, but I know we're not going to be able to do it alone. We need to do it as the body of Christ. Each one of us has a place, has our own sphere of influence. And you pray, pray that God will bring people into your sphere of influence. Let us bloom where we're planted. And this will be a revival that will That will be historic. We are in the end times. Those of you who have studied Revelation and know it a lot better than I do, please comment and tell me what you think is going on right now. But as we end 2020, I just needed to say that clarity is knowing who God is. Rising above our ego, rising above our circumstance, rising, up, rising above our safe little world so that we can let God do. So join with me today. God wants our sacrifice of praise. God wants an open vessel. To die in Christ is to live. Take up your cross and follow me. I claim that we are dying to ourselves, our egos, our patterns, our safety net. So that we can abide in the vine. We are a branch. We aren't the tree. We're not the trunk, much less the roots. God is the trunk. He's the tree. He's the roots. And all we have to do is let go. And he will bear his fruit. Brothers and sisters, it is time. Surrender, let go, and let God. And let's have a revival like there's never been a revival.
I pray that he will touch each and every one of you with a peace that passes all understanding. A peace that doesn't make any sense. Let the world go crazy around you. We are together in the spirit. Let's stand today and every day. In the name of our precious Jesus, let's do this.